The women have three games remaining left in the season. They play Rutgers tomorrow, then Marquette and Notre Dame next weekend before the Big East tournament. After that, they'll find out whether they win a seed in the NCAA tournament. I'm Allie Clark at the Lakeshore Athletic Club for Good Day DePaul. We're standing in front of the Chicago Greyhound bus station. It's where Nicole arrives after a 15 and a half hour bus ride. From here, she heads to a hostel in Greektown where she freshens up before class. It's been 40 years since DePaul has held a campaign like this, and they've already raised over half of their $250 million goal. After the 50 plus club induction ceremony, the inductees were invited to go for a tour around campus, which many of the inductees told me looks much different than it did 50 years ago. As you can see behind me and next to me, the streets are just coming alive. Canada has just beaten the United States That's in right. hockey. You're really happy, it's amazing. aren't you? Oh, right. oh. It's the greatest day of my life. I love it. Canada, number one, we love you. <laughs> As you can see, everybody is just so excited with this win. I'm Allie Clark in downtown Vancouver for Good Day DePaul. Meet Nicole Coleman, a journalism graduate student at DePaul. She travels from Chattanooga, Tennessee on the Greyhound bus to Chicago once a week for class. I was unable to get financial aid for this uh, academic year because um, my father got laid off of his job and uh, we defaulted on, our, on our under, my undergrad loans. I had to cut some payments of some things out. Nicole wasn't working. My wife is on disability and I just didn't have the funds. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to work some things out and even do forbearance. And We're standing in front of the Chicago Greyhound bus station. It's where Nicole arrives after a 15 and a half hour bus ride. From here she heads to a hostel in Greektown where she freshens up before class. So we talked and I said, okay, where in town are you staying? And she said, well, I'm not staying in town. I said, where are you staying? And she said, I'm coming up from Chattanooga every night. Uh, to take this class on a once a week basis. So that's how I found out about it. After class, Coleman stays overnight at a hostel in Greektown. The night we visit her, they upgrade her room to a suite at no charge. Luxuries like these are appreciated. Yay, look at it, it's so pretty. It takes a whole lot of money, uh, even if you are living on campus. So I'm using uh, my personal funds, my wife is using her personal funds, and we basically pumping the money from the household into Nicole's journey. I, I, I don't believe that, that anything that's worth having, it, that, 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 you, that there, has, there is not some sort of sacrifice that goes along with it. I'm willing to fight for it because I just, I, I know that I can do this. I know that this is the field I'm supposed to be in. I, I know that this is the path that God has laid out before me. And um, it's, it's my, it's my, you know, duty, it's, it's my calling to, to walk that path. You know, I'm not going to give up that easily. To realize her goals regardless of obstacles, we all find that extremely impressive. And we want DePaul University to come beside her in any way we can to help her realize those dreams. Coleman's dreams were exceeded with all the help and support from her friends in class. They've given her an experience to cherish for a lifetime. I have such a, a great network, and I, like, I could not have asked for anything better than that with my experience. I'm going to take this back with me. Even if I never come back again, I'm going to take this with me, and I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. I'm sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm a little emotional about it, but, but I'm, I'll, I'll take this with me forever. And um, nobody, you know, my creditors, <laughs> nobody can take this away from me. Nobody, my default status, nobody can take this experience away from me. This is Allie Clark in Chattanooga, Tennessee for Good Day DePaul. Back to you in the studio. As you can see behind me, the streets are just alive with excitement with this monumental win for Canada. And the night is only just beginning. I think there's going to be at least 100,000 plus people in downtown tonight. And those people created a sea of red and white, flooding the streets of downtown Vancouver shortly after Canada defeated USA in men's ice hockey. 
The win brings Canada's total medal count to 14, a new record for the Winter Olympics. Canadians are enjoying the outward expression of pride in what they consider to normally be a conservative country. And you see everybody in, in red with flags and it's not weird that I'm wearing a flag cape. I blend in. <laughs> The spirit of what's going on is not just what's happening at the events, just simple things like being in the train and then the entire crowd breaking into Canada on the train. Uh, that's just uh, very precious. Today's win in men's ice hockey sent the national pride through the roof. Canadians celebrated everywhere and anywhere they could. It was a close game and a good game that did not leave fans on either side disappointed. I like the fact that they played tough and they made it close in the end, and it, it makes it a bummer that they lost. Um, the fact that there's two kings on the team, it's kind of, it makes it more fun, but just seeing that all the uh, different team members on both sides of the countries and playing hard against each other, that was really fun. Oh, it's it amazing. It's been an amazing atmosphere down here all week, and this just tops it all. You're really happy, it's amazing. Too, right? oh, oh, It's the greatest day of my life. I love it. Canada, number one, we love you. As you can see, everybody is just so excited with this win. I'm Allie Clark in downtown Vancouver for Good Day DePaul. Today, May 20th, 2010, we're mustering all the forces and we're announcing that we intend to raise $250 million to build this university and support our students' dreams. The quad was unrecognizable under a giant tent for the big announcement. Gifts were handed out both inside and outside. A student a cappella group entertained just before the ceremony. Chair of University Board of Trustees, Mary Dempsey, announces $100 million of the goal amount will go towards scholarships. She views scholarships as the best aspect DePaul University has to offer students. I'm a scholarship recipient for college, for graduate school, and for law school. If I had not had financial aid through in the form of scholarships, there is no way I could have achieved my dreams. SGA President Dylan Goodson has also been helping work with the silent campaign. The current scholarships help ease the financial hardships for students wanting a DePaul education. And we, Because I have been able to find scholarships and grants and things like that, I've been able to help other people simply because DePaul has helped me. So DePaul is, they didn't just invest in me, they invested in everyone who knows me. So it's amazing. It changed my world, literally, like, I, I would not be standing right here if I did not have the scholarship. I would not, I have no idea where I would be. So I, I just, it's just such a blessing. And for this campaign to, you know, uh, give opportunities to more people that were in the same situation as me is fantastic because now they can have the opportunity to stay at such a great university. as. It's been 40 years since DePaul has held a campaign like this, and they've already raised over half of their $250 million goal. DePaul University has um, surpassed itself in terms of its outreach on the mission, and frankly, we have a huge alumni base, many of whom said to us, you know what, I've never been asked, and I appreciate what DePaul did for me 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 40 years ago, and I want to do the same for the next generation of DePaul students. 80s cover band 16 Candles played for students after the official announcement. Students got down with faculty, staff, and friends of the university to celebrate. This is Allie Clark in Lincoln Park for Good Day DePaul.